We've got our first learner question for the day. La, a very tight second school. Zone 5, Midole. So, what is the one? Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm Hazel Princess Msipa, and I come from Rodeport. From Rodeport? Isn't Rodeport far? Yeah, it is. Eh, travel around John Mangabeja. I just got by train. Ah, how long is the trip? Uh, not that long, oh, but I can manage. From a one hour. One hours. hour thirty minutes. One hour thirty minutes. Yeah. So I have to go, get up early and then start the journey. Oh, Tina, I We wish to walk one hour thirty minutes. At least you guys go by train. What is your question to our teacher in the studio? Please may explain the three different planes in three dimensions. She wants help with this. Please explain the three different planes in three dimensions. I'll see it over to you in the studio. Yes, three-dimensional trigonometry, three different planes in three dimensions. Now, what does that mean? Okay, now very simply, you're gonna have to in the trick do three dimensions. Now watch this, guys. Flat land, look at that. Flat land is the ground. Okay, can you all see that? See mm -hmm. this white paper? That's the ground. And we have triangles on the ground, okay. But the moment you do this, if I fold it now, we, we, that's the horizontal plane, the ground. But the moment you do that, this plane is the vertical plane. Oh, okay, huh? we are three-dimensional beings. So what do we do? We see flat, that's length and breadth, but we also see height, and that is the vertical plane. But there's another one. It's called the inclined plane. You see that the inclined, the slanted plane. If you look at this, that is inclined. And those are the three planes in three dimensions. Do you see that? Okay. But now, before we get into three-dimensional trig, what we need to do is we need to revise the basics. Now, you, you guys are going to have to help me with this, okay? And we're going to go through some rules involving the sine rule, cosine, and error rules. These rules are applicable in triangles, not only in two dimensions that you do in grade 10 and 11, but also when you get to matric and you do three-dimensional Jay-Z doing trigonometry. You oh, got yeah, it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters of the fraternity, let's do some mathematics, okay? The Sangoma's thrown the bones, and the bones are saying, hee 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 is saying, let's do this thing. Wah, wah, come on, let's do horizontal, vertical, Inclined, baby, come on, horizontal, Ooh, vertical, oh, oh, oh. and slash for inclined. You see how easy maths is? <laughs> come on, you guys know this stuff. Okay, now come on, we're going to do some serious maths, some zanzi. The sign rule. Come on, you did this in grade 11. You guys, you in grade 11 now, hey? So you're probably going to come across this soon. But now watch this. The sign rule can be used, grade 12s, when you have more than one angle in a triangle. Okay, so you have like two angles and a side. Okay, you're gonna see, we're gonna, we're gonna do some examples. Or, two sides and an angle that's not included. Okay, what is an included angle? Let's have a look at this. If you, I'm just gonna go to a piece of paper here. If you look at this carefully, if I drew a triangle like that, if you look at this, if you've got a side and a side, do you see that there? Mm -hmm. That angle is included in the sides, okay? When you include your girlfriend, you are hugging her. Okay, she's an included angle. You see, oh. you make, you, you're putting your arms around her. She feels included if you hug her. But a non-included angle is where if you're sitting here, like if that angle was say 30 degrees there, you see, that's not included between the three and the five. So that's not included, but the dot, that dot represents an angle, is included. Okay, so that's important. Now, when do we use the sign rule? Let's have a look. Here's a typical example. Do you notice you want to find the length of X or AC, you're given two angles and that length is 16 for BC. Are you with me? Now watch how easy maths is. The sign rule is brilliant. To get X, you've got two angles. So how do we get X? Well, very simply put, watch this. You start with what you want. X divided by, what is the opposite angle in the triangle? 135, do you see that there? So it's X over sine 135. What is opposite the X? Can you see that there? That is opposite. All right, and then what we do, now watch this, careful with this. We've got 16, all right, that side, divided by the sine of the opposite angle. You see that there? But we don't know that angle. You see, so it's x divided by the sine of 135 is 16, the side divided by angle A. Okay, now we're gonna get to three dimensions, but let's first do it in flatland. 
Now, if you look at this, angle A is 21. Do you remember the angles in the triangle add up to 180? Do you remember that, Amanda? Mm -hmm. If the sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. So if you've got 135 plus 24 plus 21, you get 180. Now watch the angle. I'm going to raise this a bit here so we can see some space. Make it nice for us here. Check this out. So 21, let the sun go and make it go. Here we go. 21, move to your place, please. Wow, there we go. 21's in place, you see. <laughs> so we've got that angle. So now we know what angle A is. So we can put in 21. And all you do is sine 135 pops to 16, multiply both sides by the of sine 135 moves up there work that out in your calculator and you've got that isn't it easy okay now that's the sine rule now what about this when you want to work out theta notice you've got two sides and a non-included angle you see the alpha is included there but not the 19 so we still use the sine rule now watch this okay to get theta sine of the theta that angle divided by 23,5 is sine of 19 divided by 12,1. So it's always the sines on top, the sides at the bottom. Oh. And then you simply bring the 23,5 to the top, um, and Matrix will know this very well now, and you evaluate the right side. We haven't got much time to do this, but you just work that out, and then you go shift sign, and you get an important, you see that that angle is, is bigger than, it's, it's an obtuse angle, bigger than 180, so you go 180 minus. That's typical trig equations from grade 11, and you get 140 degrees there. Then, of course, if you've got 19, 140, from the sum of the angles of the triangle, you can get 20 comma 2, 2. Okay, hmm. the other thing is um, the cosine rule, the cos rule is brilliant. What it says, if you've got two sides and the included angle, do you see 85 is in between? The loving arms are wrapped around 85. Honey, this is romantic, this maths. Now look at this. What we see, the cosine rule, we, it works like this. You go, it's like Pythagoras. You go x squared is 10 squared plus 9 comma 6 squared minus 2 times 10 times 9 comma 6 cos 85. It always works like that, you see. So that's the cos rule. And then you can work out the right side and simply do this. You, you work it out and then square root and 13 comma two four and that is how the cos rule works with two sides and the included angle you see all right the other one that you can get have a look at this one quickly um, if you take we want angle PRS the moment you are given three sides you are able to work out the any specific angle like PRS so we're going to work out that with three sides it's the cosine rule this is great 11 work okay mm -hmm. now how do we do this well what we do is look at this 52 squared is equal to 73 squared plus 60 squared minus 2 times 73 times 60 the cos of prs that's it that's this little angle here okay that little angle there that we're working out in this triangle here okay now all you have to do is you have to say okay let's let's square those and we square these two and add them up multiply bring the 8760 cos to the left the 2704 to the right and you get a little trig equation remember grade 10 you go shift shift cos you see and then you go like this and it gives you 44 comma 71 okay which of course we can write in there now if that one is 90 then obviously that is 45 comma 29 because they must add up to 90 okay now the next thing once we've got that if you if you want the area now this is the third rule the area of this triangle at the top here this p see this this this, this triangle here let me get a pen quickly this triangle here all you do is you say a half 35 73 sine 45 comma 29 and the cosine rule and the sine rule works when you've got two sides and the included angle okay honey oh, okay. i'm getting cozy with you cosine rule angle included okay <laughs> and then honey you and i are going to spend some time um you know we're going to no no then he said something naughty <laughs> but, but anyway you can just visualize zanzi you know the area you know? <laughs> okay no we won't go there okay we work it out there that's going to be too naughty but anyway guys that's the basics and when we come back we're going to go into three dimensions Continuing the tradition, we ask the right questions, get the right answers. We've got our second learner question for today. Namkhanje, library test. 
Fere Mapura. Shoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshosh